Okay, y'all, so I saw this on social media and I just had to bring it to you all. This video is gonna be talking about the early concept design that they had for Vagar. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's just get right to it, right? Um, this artist named Constantine Sakaris, hopefully I'm pronouncing their name right. Okay, so they describe themselves as a concept artist slash creature designer slash costume concept artist. They've worked on a bunch of movies and shows, but uh, some of them include Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Justice League. Obviously, they have contributed to House of the Dragon. So recently, they posted um this picture here with this caption hello friends and family sharing today some of my house of the dragon vagar early exploration designs this was another dream job working with showrunners miguel sapochnik and ryan condal early on production hired many creature designers worldwide uh, and to kind of vet out who had the right aesthetic for the show. In the end, they hired myself and another brilliant creature designer who goes by the name of Kirill Barry Ben. Hopefully I'm pronouncing their name right. Um, I couldn't ask for a kinder, genuine, uh, trustworthy teammate to tackle these iconic dragons. After a couple of months with the four of us exploring, production brought on amazing VFX art director Agnes Bickerton and production designer Jim Clay. We all worked seamlessly to help bring all these dragons to the screen. We stayed very close to the descriptions from the books because we felt the pressure of the fan base and we didn't want to let anyone down. Also, shout out to the vendors and other artists involved. Hard work pays off with trust, respect, and integrity with the whole team. More to come humbly, thanks. So I thought that was really awesome. The artist also posted more uh, images, which we'll get to, of the Vagar um, early concept designs, but and also like explained how him and Kiro kind of flip-flopped on designing Cyrax and Caraxes and Vagar and all that stuff. So like the, it was a very uh, cooperative kind of effort. So we can go to uh, one of the next pictures here because I'm just like really so excited. In the top right-hand corner, you can see it says asymmetrical horns here. And honestly, I know it says asymmetrical, but I would, I don't know, it's something about Vagar with these horns that I really like, you know? Because if we compare it to like uh, this Vagar here, the Vagar that we got in um, the, the for the final product, it looks good, like Vagar looks amazing, but I don't know, this early concept um, seems so cool. And of course, you know, maybe if we had gotten this as a final, product and then they showed us like what we got in house of the dragon like vagar that we got in house of the dragon as an early concept we would have been saying oh well i like this one better but i don't know it's something about the horns that and the teeth outside that really do it for me also as you can notice as we have been noticing because i think vermithor has this as well right this like kind of sagging ch chin kind of thing i don't even know what i don't know what to call it like, sagging neck <laughs> sagging chin kind of thing that's going on with the dragons but apparently it's like obviously i'm sh I'm sure we picked up on that <laughs> like i'm sure you picked up on that the older the dragon is the more their their skin is going to look like that uh on their chin or on their neck and stuff the more it's going to stack like that so it makes sense it makes sense and that's why we see like i said um we, we see it on vermithor and we see it on the final design that we got for vagar um so yeah i mean i, I Every time I see images, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's early design or the final design. Like anytime I see images of Vagar, I just cannot help but think of how, how crazy like <laughs> Balerion must have, like how crazy big Balerion must have been. Like, so going back to this picture, like if you look at the, like the human size comparison compared to like how big Vagar is, that, this motherfucker is big as hell. Like, and, we, and I know that Vagar is big as hell, but like, Seeing this and seeing this and also seeing Eamon try to ride it, I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, gigantic. But yeah, this is just a really quick video because I saw that and not only that, like we hadn't had, I don't know, I haven't seen a whole lot of House of the Dragon news come out. 
they are talking about like the casting that's going on, possibly, you know, rumors, but the, the possible casting that's going on for Blood and Cheese and stuff. So, you know, maybe some of that. But overall, there's not been a whole lot of stuff and I'm so impatient. <laughs> but seeing this just really made my day because I'm like, damn, I always love to get in the minds of the artists and stuff. Every time I see like dragons or any awesome CGI or any cool battle scene or any anything like that, I'm like, how was it made? How did y'all do this? How are y'all so talented y'all doing this shit? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So I just, I thought I would bring it to you all. Tell me which one y'all prefer though. Because these horns, I just like... I don't know. You can't go wrong with no horns on no dragon now. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I love the horns. I love the horns. I think I like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think I like this design more. <laughs> I think I like this design more. I was going to say it's scarier, but I don't think it's scary. I think like both designs, both the uh, final design that we got of Vagar and this design are equally scary. Like they're equally terrifying. <laughs> Jeez. Because especially because just because they massive ass size, like Vagar is big as hell. <laughs> is she old as hell and she grumpy, girl? Like, so yeah, I think they're both equally terrifying. I just think that it's just, it gives even more personality, especially if you're gonna have asymmetrical horns. Um, but I would, I, I don't know, horns in general on, on Vagar's head really gets me up, really, you know, brightens my day. And I thought it would brighten yours. So <laughs> let me know what y'all think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.